Here's some news of Toshinsai 2019 early results. The Battle of the Beast results being held at the European region. Blaze Blue cross tag battle adds Teddy, Seth, Hart, and Naoto Kuragame to arcades in April with console likely to follow. Funny EX Slayer adds Sharon and Terry Bogard as DLC characters on March 26, and Noob Saiba confirmed for Mortal Kombat 11 and Shang Tsung announced as the first DLC character. This is FGC News where I recap the news given from the Event Hub and Shuriken.com. I'm Peck324, and let's get started. We don't know who is in the brackets yet, but we can all assume that if they are Japan players, they are ready to fight their hearts out. There are a ton of games also being played at this event, though since it's part of the Arc Revo World Tour, the main ones to keep your eyes on are Guilty Gear Zerd Revolution 2 and Blaze Blue Central Friction. Besides these titles, you'll also get to enjoy Street Fighter V Arcade Edition, Tekken 7, King of Fighters 14, Ultra Street Fighter 4, Million Arthur Arcana Blood, Fighting EX Slayer, SNK Heroines, Tag Team Frenzy, and even more. As usual, Toshinsai is split up across dates, meaning that specific games are being played either on Saturday or Sunday. Streaming is being done at the Anime Illuminati and Toshinsai Official TV. Okay. Game sound up. Alright, turn it up. Uh, game sound is this one. An invitation for Ultra Street Fighter 4, which still has an active player base filled with some of the greatest players we used to see, placed highly at the Beast Tournament. A few of the names who have been around since the Street Fighter 4 days are Gagapa, Profluke, Jehosan, Eastman, and Gil Stole My Ride. Though there are 16 players in total participating in this event. They've all even divided up into four groups, which will play out in a round robin format. There's also some cash prizes of over $100 thrown into this tournament. Streaming will be done across several different channels Gil Stole My Ride, Infant, Purdue, Easy Man, Espatis, and Pro Fluke. The comeback! <sighs> The developers announced that the four new characters of Heart I Know from Arcana Hearts 3, Teddy from Persona 4 Arena, Seth from Under Night and Birth, and Naoto Kurigame from Blaze Blue will be joining cross tag battle with the update in April. The set of fighters was playable at the Soul Cal Climax monthly tournament in California for players to test them out. No pricing information, but we are assuming it will be the same as the last season DLC characters along with a pack of these characters. There might also be more characters to come still, considering Arc System announced that a sixth series will be added to the crossover fighter at EVO Japan. <laughs> New trailers released the following conclusion of Fighting EX Slayer Tournament in Japan. Arika announced that Sharon and Terry Bogard will be releasing of the title on March 26th alongside the new version of 1.2.0 patch. Sharon will be included free in the update scheduled to launch on March 25th along with Terry for his price of $4.99 on PC at 10pm Pacific and 12am Eastern Time, while the inclusion of console for the PlayStation 4 will come later on March 26th at 12am Pacific and 3am Eastern Time. New trailers and gameplay footage has also been released with the character announcements showing the parts off in action. Terry still has all of his SNK moves to pull off some juggle and mix up combos. Sharon's special and super look to rely exclusively on her pistol, though her regular strikes are made up of quick hitting punches and kicks. Originally, we are only scheduled to receive one fighter in March, while Palum Purna and Volcano Rosso were announced for August or September release. So it's nice to see that Arika is seemingly ahead of their plan. You can check out Fighting EX Layer's new gameplay of Terry vs. Sharon on YouTube. <laughs> Netherrealm Studios hosted the Making a Mortal Kombat panel at 2019 Chicago Comic and Entertainment Expo. During the panel, in addition to discussing subjects such as the franchise's lore and the Vitaly creating process, they also revealed the next character to bring in the Mortal Kombat 11 roster, Noob Saibot or Tobias Boone backwards. Noob Saibot was once the original Sub-Zero Bihan before he was slain by Scorpion in Mortal Kombat 9. 
he now returns with his signature slide, shadow clone, and shadow teleport along with a nasty looking bladed sickle that he devastates in crushing blows and combos with. His first vitality forces Shadow Essence into his victim's body, hatching a clone that literally tears him in half from the inside. We also see a new stage, which appears to be some type of Lin Kuei or Special Force Research Facility, as the body of a Cyber Ninja is suspended on a platform. And once again, Shao Kahn can be playable when you pre-order the game on console and PC. Another announcement is shown when Shang Tsung, played by his Mortal Kombat film actor, Kerry Hiroki Tagawa, will be the first 6 post launch DLC character available in the Mortal Kombat pack and will also serve as a host and guide for the crypt. You can find Noob's gameplay trailer as well as the entire near hour long panel on YouTube or at Netherrealm Studios website. Creative Director Ed Boon also confirmed that the company will be making an official announcement soon regarding competitive tournament rule sets and how the title defining custom variation system will be implemented. Welcome, Traveler. I am Shang Tsung, and this is my island. And that's all the news for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Peck both the like, subscribe, and the bell for more FGC news and other contents I create, and to help me be part of the fighting game community. This is Peck 3 to the 4, signing out. Birdie wins.